Hello friends, I am Karuna Yadav, Assistant Professor in Biani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today we are here to discuss a shortest job first scheduling algorithm. Shortest job first algorithm is of both the types that is primitive and non-primitive. As we all know, primitive scheduling is what in which the processor will be snatched by other process without completing its execution and in non-primitive scheduling the process will release the processor only when when it comes in non-primitive scheduling the processor uh, will be released by the process when it completes it full execution here we can see an example of primitive uh, shortest job first we have three uh, four process we have four processes p1 p2 p3 and p4 process with arrival time 0 3 1 4 and their respective burst time now how these processes will be scheduled on the basis of primitive scheduling we know that the process will be snatched that is the process will complete its execution in more than one interval of time as we can see the arrival time of process p1 is 0 so the processor will be first allocated to our process p1 p1 will use the processor until and unless the other process does not arrive in the ready queue the next process arrived in the ready queue is p3 then the processor will be allocated to p3 here we can see that processor p1 has used the processor just for 1 millisecond because at the arrival time 1 p3 process has just arrived so the processor will be snatched by the process p1 and will be given to the process p3 then after the process p3 will use the processor until and unless another process does not arrive in the ready queue at arrival time 3 process p2 arrives in the ready queue and the process p3 will use this process till arrival time 3 but it can we can see that its process that its burst time is less than now p3 has completed its execution with the arrival time 4 here all the processes have arrived in the ready queue now the process will be allocate processor will be allocated to the process whose burst time is the shortest then the p4 process has the shortest burst time that's why the processor will be allocated to p4 and then p2 and the remaining of p1 will be allocated in the last so this is how we solve the shortest job first primitive scheduling algorithm with arrival time thank you thank you and thank you for further details, log on to our official website that is www.gurukpo.com.